Do you want to brag to everybody that your Tesla came? My Tesla came in about a month and a half and Jeremy is so salty. All they did was move her delivery date up. Let's go home. Lauren, mm -hmm. I have bad news. Try to start the pot off on the bad news. Why? Bad news. Why? I am unfortunately going to have to announce that the most important face reveal is going to have to be postponed several weeks despite Dream <gasps> giving a nice warm up. <gasps> what, I, what I mean by that is it's the face that was supposed to be Mm. Have, have gone to the gym by mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. about- The cutting jawline? Six weeks, six months, six, right. a long time ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm uh -huh. thinking to myself, I think this time, uh, I think January 15th, Is... no, January 22nd, by my 31st birthday, uh -huh. I'm basically going to have the jawline of- uh, Of, uh, I'm trying to think who's got a really cutting jawline. What was the vampire? Uh, Edward. Vampire? Edward. Edward, yeah. did he have a really cutting jawline? Yeah, yeah it's it's pretty, kind of cutting, yeah. Pretty sharp. Yeah, so I'm gonna have Edward jaw, I've decided. You haven't even seen Twilight, have you? No, but I've seen, what's his name? Cedric Diggory. I'm gonna have Cedric Diggory jog. jog. I cannot believe there's a, there's a fly in, there's a fly there in, no, in we, our pot room. We live in the middle of a farm. I'm not kidding, it is so insane. I'm like, Jer one, Jeremy hasn't seen daylight in weeks. And we open our- I have a sunglass tan on my face. How are you gonna tell me that I have not seen- Goes to the beach once. <gasps> Did we talk about this, Bull Terrier Beach Day? Uh, no, Lauren, yeah. we have so much to catch up on. Oh my on. God, we've had guests for the last two episodes, which if you haven't seen those episodes, they are so much fun. We had Girls Gotta Eat, and then we had Chris Olson last weekend, or bam, last week, bam. and both episodes were so much fun. Fire, also like 17 hours of content. 17 hours of content. Oh, this like, fly's gonna kill me. I know, I was gonna say, I cannot believe. Should we get the electric fly swatter? <sighs> No, we, I know we probably won't get it. You know what it is too, is that like, so I don't know how this happens in our household because we really don't like open doors really. Like we're not that type of household that just like no, we leaves have two the air door open. Yeah. We have two separate air conditionings running at and all And like time. air filters, like there's just- we, All time. And so we, oh my God, he's literally flying in front of the lens. That is so <laughs> incredibly rude. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, by the way, you're not getting paid for this appearance. I know, clear. seriously. Uh, but I, I also think about, how many flies and bugs I was used to in the Midwest. And I think to myself, this isn't that bad. Stop, stop. I, Drop, roll, rate the pod. Uh, stop, roll, rate the pod. I did the most, I had the most noble, the most noble few minutes of our lives the other night. It was, a okay, you, you were elected to kill one bug in exchange for 97 minutes of back scratches. <laughs> There was, so one thing, so one thing about our relationship is that I fix things. Yep. And- Well, you fix physical things. I fix physical things. I fix digital things. You fix digital things. Yeah. Um, and I kill the bugs in our house. Yeah. I kill the bugs in our house, the which is some bullshit because you are six four and you don't even need a ladder to get up there. I was using a kitchen chair. We swapped it for something a little bit safer eventually, but there was a nine foot centipede. Yeah, at least. On our ceiling. No, you know how many legs a nine foot centipede has? Like 34. Can we actually Google the difference between a centipede and a millipede? Yeah, we, were, we, we, were trying to, we were trying to figure this out yesterday. I, do you think that people are just like, are people just scared of bugs or do they become scared of bugs? Um, oh my God. I think it's a millipede. Oh, that's, that was not, that looks like it would crunch when you squished it. See, millipedes have two sets of legs per segment position. Yeah, so we actually have, yeah, wait, the house centipede, that's it. House centipede. The house centipede? Yeah. Oh my God. Which is funny because I can guarantee that nobody who owns a house yeah. has ever invited a centipede into their home. Ugh. Guaranteed. Uh, Jeremy made me kill. Well, let's just take, okay, stop, pause. Stop, 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 stop. Let me just preface this before you slander my name. I <laughs> cannot wait. In every home, there are unspoken rules that after a certain amount of years mm -hmm. together or mm -hmm. a certain amount of years together, mm -hmm. plus how many pandemics you've survived mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. You just, it's like an auto assign, right? Yeah, yeah. Like for instance, who, when you can't figure out how to uh, charge your new Tesla is the person you come to. You actually just plugged it in for me. Yeah, I did that, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> bad example. Who is the person who, when you lose one of your passwords and say it's all broken and stupid, mm -hmm. do you come screaming to come fix it? TSJ. To come find your password mm -hmm. in 
your password manager and help yeah. you find access to that. TSJ. Tech support Jeremy. Who do you um, uh, ask when every television mm. isn't doing exactly what you want, when you want it, how you want it? TSJ. And who is when anytime anything goes down mm -hmm. whatsoever, mm -hmm. electricity, mm -hmm. Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. who's the person that just like, I'm, I'm, who's gonna just do that? TSJ. Right. TSJ. Do so, we do my side now? <sighs> who do you go to when you don't know how to slice the bread? Oh, you Lauren, Lauren. <laughs> no, 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 and by the way, it's not that when I don't know how to slice the bread. When I, when I have a piece of bread that needs sliced. <laughs> or really anything that needs a knife. Jerry has like a knife aversion thing. Yeah, it's I don't, very yeah, hard, I don't yeah. do knives. Who do you go to when, who do you go to when, when, when? Damn. <laughs> and that was that, <laughs> that segment. Um, <laughs> oh, who do you go to, who do you go to when you need a button sewed back on? The dry cleaner or my- What the fuck? When, okay, I, when have I, I actually- can sew. A mean button. Have I ever asked you to put like a, a real button back on anything I wear? Um, Lauren. No. <laughs> nope. No. no, I don't. Keep going. I'm sure there's more. Um, I know there's more. In fact, I want to jump in and help you, but I'm going to wait. Who do you go to when you need a fresh towel? Well, I do the, the bedding and yeah. you do the towel. So it's not even like I, when I mm -hmm. go to, like mm -hmm. I just expect, I hope to God that you mm -hmm. take our towels off of the bar mm -hmm. and wash them ever so often. Actually, how often are you washing the towels? More often than you're washing the bed sheets. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we have 40 towels. Yeah. We don't have so many bed sheets. Mm -hmm. There's always fresh towels. As evidenced towels. by the sweat stain on your side. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. I, I actually am convinced that my SNRI mm -hmm. is making me sweat more. I, I would actually, if there's anything that we should like pull the audience, is yeah. anybody else with SNRIs? No, no. Can you Google that? I'm pretty sure it's a fact. Uh, SNRI and night sweating. Yeah. So like, you definitely sweat more when you're in bed with me, certainly than me. I, what does that say? I can't read it. Cause more to float around the brain, which stimulates receptors that lead to sweating. Yeah. Thank you so much. Just I feel seen. Real quick, get those 10 medications that cause excessive sweating. Um, <laughs> Are we on any of those as well too? I'm going to find out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Um, so if everyone knows, so antidepressants, yep. migraine medications, pain okay. relievers, wow. um, opioids, neat, diabetes medications, asthma inhalers, heartburn and reflux medications, slidanophil, oh, Viagra. Wow, so Viagra makes you sweat. Um, and then breast cancer medications and then Lupron. I don't, I knew what like half of those were. Wow, I'm so glad that antidepressants is at the very top of that list. I feel so seen right now. Yeah. So that's why you sweat like a pig. What's your last one? Whoa. <laughs> Try to squeeze that in there. What's your last one? <laughs> you had, I, I had three, you should do three. Um, who do you go for to- That's not, that's not how words work. Who? I'll just finish it for you. Who do I ask <laughs> when there's a bug in the house and you're not there? Ghostbusters, also Lauren. You are the bug smasher. I am the bug smasher. Smasher, smasher yeah. So Jeremy may get up on a ladder and crush this nine foot centipede. I asked if you'd be willing to barter a trade. I, no, I, no, you didn't. I said, Jeremy, get up there, you do it. And you said, no, you do it. And I said, I'll do it if you give me scratchies. And I said, let's just move. And you said, <laughs> you said three minutes. I, no, wait, what did you say? I, I said, said, let's move. Let's <laughs> just burn the house down and we'll move. <laughs> you know what I don't understand is that when people are like, oh, I just suck it up with the vacuum. Yeah, I mean, when like, I tell you that my- Unless your vacuum is attached to like one of those fully centralized things where it sucks into the wall and like go someplace like I, foreign. That's actually- I think that's the worst version because then in the middle of your home somewhere- There is a spider. Yeah. Or a centipede. Yeah. Yeah, I know. My um, my dad taught me that one. Mm. Yeah, no, everyone in my my DMs was like, when are you in the vacuum? And I was like, yeah, because I'm same. afraid that I'm gonna have a, same. a, 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 no, a centipede yeah. sucking breeding home for the queen centipede. For the queen centipede, yeah. No, no, of course. So anyway, so then I, I had a large Krispy Kreme donut bag because Jeremy ordered himself 12 Krispy Kreme donuts like over said, my arm. Fitness face coming soon. Then did I put the oven mitt on? I think I did. Yeah. I think I had the oven mitt on inside the large plastic can, bag and then a wad of paper towels. Without question, you used more forms of protection to kill that bug than you had in your entire sexual career. <laughs> And that is on facts. And so then I got up on that ladder and I squashed that centipede. Like a true like a, woman. Like a true woman. And then I earned myself seven minutes of back scratches. Never called a man to do a woman's job. It's you, babe. I don't know about that. Equality, I'm proud of you. I appreciate you. 
That's so nice. And Lauren does love a good back scratchy, but not like I a hard like scratchy. A, like a, it's a, it's like a, it's a back tickly. Yeah, it's like a little back. Tickly. So while we watched Jeffrey Dahmer, we um, we watched that whole season in two days. Uh, yeah. So well, just two steps back. I would be thrilled if everyone in below could either just um, corroborate the story and say that your boyfriends, because I'm assuming that the six guys up there you know, commented away. Mm -hmm. Is anybody else's boyfriend also afraid of bugs? And is, is it because their single mother also raised them to run away and say, oh my God, this is, uh, what do we do? Oh my God, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And scream and shout and be- So what did you do when there's a bug in the house with Donna? What did moved. you do? That's why we moved. That's why you moved every yeah. time. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm one eight legged creature away from leaving any part of my life at any moment. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. We, in that moment, I've never wanted a cat. Again, not a cat person, very allergic. But in that moment, I was like, fuck, I wish I had a cat that I could just hold up to the ceiling and it would go Nyum, and then it'd just be gone. Yeah, of all things, that's the thing like Moose would be afraid of. Oh, Moose would absolutely not yeah. do that. He's got no interest in trying to eat a bug on the ground. Yeah, no. sadly. Sadly. Yeah. yeah no, a little no vacuum interest. cleaner otherwise. Little vacuum cleaner otherwise. Like it would put a pebble in his mouth just in case it was food and probably spit it back out. Maybe not, but would never put a bug in his mouth. But was I born this way or did I learn to become scared That's of bugs? That's what I'm saying is like, I think so did Donna, because Gail was the bug killer in our household. And was she squeamish around bugs? Not at all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Not at all. When Greg? there was a bat stuck in our cottage, my mom was the one who got it out. Nope. Yeah, absolutely not. Even though bats are pretty harmless. I think I'd rather do with a bat. Bats have so many diseases. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but like they're not gonna like attack you. How do you know? There's like two types of bats. I think that like eat people. How? Or, like, I mean, bite people. No, but like, how do you know? Do bats bite humans? I bet they do. I bet they don't. Bats I, are actually cool. I think cute. like one bat out of all of them. Yeah, their little faces are cool. Like bats do not attack people. Gotcha. Hmm. Hmm. All right, next bat that's in our house. I'm calling the bat <laughs> man. Babe, you are the Batman. Nope. No, I'm not. No, I'm more Alfred. Mm, that's true. I see that for you. Yeah, if Alfred yeah. was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see yeah. that for you. I see yeah. that for you for sure. Yeah, Alfred, if he, you know, a little bit closer to when he fucked. What? I, I got what? new news. Oh, no. Oh, if no. you're trying to trap or attack a bat. Yes, that's what I'm it saying. It will go for you. Right, if it feels threatened. That's what I'm saying. I nah. really just feel like we're not in a good space here with the bat. And listen, I, I'm not going to insult the bat community so like anyway, that. Now that you think bats are less scary than spiders, I will take care of all the spiders and the a legged creatures and you get all the bats and anything larger than like a quarter, I'd like you to handle. Uh, I mean, I'll call the whoever. Yeah, sure. We don't have time. Like I said, just burn the house down. Start we over We don't again. have time. Start over. Oh my God, you guys, I love this next sponsor. If you're looking for a cute and unique gift to give to someone in your life, look no further. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit card, your plane tickets, you you could even put it on your dating profile. And I don't also, care what you say. I'm still not calling you. I, I'm not I, calling you no, Lord. I just, I just want to be Lord, Lord DIY I'm not for you Lord. the rest of eternity. I'm not calling you Lord. Lord, Lord DIY. I just, it's, I'll call you Lord, Lord DIY, uh -huh. but you have to do the same for me. But uh, no, my, we, I Lord have- Lord Lewis. I, <laughs> First of my name. Maybe, maybe. Title packages give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston. That's in Scotland. And it comes with an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. It makes a great last minute gift. They even have couple packs that come with adjoining plots of <laughs> land. We can become a lord and lady together. I mean, mine showed up already. I'm a lord, lord DIY. I don't know where yours is. I'm only jealous. <laughs> they also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plot within a few minutes of walking distance. We have to go, right? We're going. Yeah, we have to go. So depending on how many of you want to become a lord or lady, we can build our little tail. Kingdom. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use our code WILD, you'll get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash WILD to get your gifts now and help support the channel.
Gail was Gail was absolutely a crusher in our household. And my dad was the vacuum. Thank you, Greg. The vacuum or Yeah, Greg gets me. Of the bugs. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of um Greg and Gail and Donna. <laughs> They're all coming this month. <laughs> They're all coming this month. I feel like we do this sometimes off. Like we like stack our parent visits like close together. Yeah, not too far. Cause I feel like my parents usually come in the fall yep. and then your mom has come. The other only single one time that she's ever come was over her birthday. Yeah, well she came for the birthday and then I think that was the like right before the pandemic. Oh, this pre COVID. Yep. yep. And then she hasn't been back and yeah. uh, she's Donna. Donna will be here in T minus uh, two days. Oh, it stresses me out. So Donna, uh, for everyone who's forgotten, Donna, uh, how do we say this? She hates California, mm -hmm. couldn't stand it. Mm -hmm. Couldn't stand it less. Uh, is not thrilled about riding on a a, a plane or a bus or a car, mm -hmm. any, any transit really. Mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. she does have motion sickness, which we can understand. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's not great with being in new places. <laughs> like if my mother uh, was born today uh -huh. and we had just had better help earlier on for yeah. her to like talk through these things. Prime candidate. I think she would have been a lot better off, but right. it's, 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 I think it's, it's not that it's past that for her. I think she's just um, used to getting anxious in these scenarios. Mm -hmm. And therefore she has a lot of pre-stress going into it. Mm -hmm. And then, a lot of stress happening. I just think that Donna would be such a prime candidate for some Xanax. I think Big Pharma would do a lot of things for I her. think Big Pharma would do some really great things for her yeah. for travel. Like just as someone who is an anxious traveler, I cannot tell you the difference that taking a Big Pharma present yeah. can make. Well, I'd also point out that <laughs> if she coupled day. that with, I, because to me, okay. For anybody who's, I think, starting to get to the point where they outpace their parents' earnings and the mm. convenience factor of like, I'd rather you come to me than me come to you, mm -hmm. right? Like I, I'm trying to do everything in my power with this trip to make Donna realize that if she'll just come this way, mm -hmm. I'll get a car that will pick her up from her house, mm -hmm. will drive her to the airport mm -hmm. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. She will get out of that Chicago airport. She will get onto the plane, come to LA. Mm -hmm. She will meet me here. Mm -hmm. I will take her home. Mm -hmm. And then when she goes back on the plane mm -hmm. to LA from Chicago, and then when she gets to Chicago, someone is sitting there holding her nameplate, <laughs> Donna, right here, and just grabs her stuff and puts her in a car and just takes her home. Like there's very minimal ways she can fuck that up. <sighs> I, got, I got bad news for you, baby. I just don't think that it's ever gonna be in the cards for either of our parents to enjoy the convenience factor of what it does for you for them to be here. I don't think, I don't need them to enjoy it. I just think I need them. I need one of our, let's point out the fact that our parents still haven't met. I know. And we are going to keep it that way for as long as possible. Like, it's going on four years. <laughs> I know. And they haven't met. I know. And it's not like we have a trip planned in the works for them to meet. No, no, no. I actually, we are actively canceling opportunities for them to meet. I, I'm not doing that, but it's just so wildly inconvenient to get everybody together. Yeah. Well, and it's also the, we've got, we've got some opposing political opinions. Oh. See, to me, got, let it roll. We've got mothers on wild. You know what the problem is, is that it's my mom who is violently liberal, violently liberal. I, I mean, she's she's been pretty outspoken on the podcast about yeah. like her beliefs. And you give Gail a couple of glasses of wine, maybe like one and a half glasses of wine. She's a small lady she, who can't hold her alcohol actually quite well. She can we, hold her, she can hold her alcohol just fine. It's, it's the political beliefs she has a difficult time holding. It's, <laughs> Give, you give this small woman like a glass of wine and she is ready to talk politics. But like everything becomes politics. Oh, it's just, it's just it just flows, it just yeah. flows. By the way, I, I think it'd be great entertainment. I- What's the worst that can happen? We have just a political outburst. Okay. That sounds terrible. I think about I think I think about like the tension that I feel when you and your mother fight about politics. We have a uh, just a discourse that we discuss. Oh my god! I remember the Thanksgiving that we were at your place for. Was it Thanksgiving? No, no, no. I mean Thanksgiving. Anyway, sometime. Jerry and his mother talked politics for. I'm not kidding. Like I could. I could. I was not talking be reason. I don't know what you're exaggerating more. Four hours. I was there for the first like maybe thirty minutes, and I was like, I refuse to sit through this. I went upstairs. I took a nap. I took a bath. Did some self care. Four hours later, I think I think I read a book. It was that four hours? I'm not kidding. It was four hours. Probably maybe an hour and a half. That's completely untrue because I slept for an hour and a half. I vividly remember that this was so so long. What I remember, we, like take potty breaks between this yes, thing? Yes, literally. Got it. Yes. All right. New glasses of tea. I don't actually remember winning this argument either. I don't. I don't think there is a winning with either there, of you. I could definitely walk you through how it could have looked better. Mm, yeah. Anyway, so we are trying. We're actively trying to keep our. Mothers of heart. I think I would like them to it's meet. It's gonna be totally fine. Yeah. Because like both of our mothers are so like gracious and just 
it's just when my mom drinks wine, she likes to be political. <laughs> yeah. So Donna's coming in a few days um, and then we have a week of no parents and then my parents come a week after that. So let's hope that this time when she gets here, because let's go back to Donna's hate of California. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My mom is, uh, I don't know if anybody uh, subscribes to or has the alerts on for their local news, wherever you live. Mm -hmm. I would, it would, it would seem that Donna must have the local Los Angeles news alerts on her phone because She'll just alert us at any point in time. Like, it's not even Los Angeles. Are, it's the LA County. Right. Like, <laughs> are, are, you, are, are you guys safe from the fires? And we're like in the middle of, you know, like there's Tuesday just, dinner. No, but go, like we also like, haven't heard of a single fire. Like it's right. like not like it's like a fire thing happening. No, I think. Or, uh, well, I hope everyone's okay with the, with the, 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 the person that got shot and robbed. <laughs> well, it's LA. <laughs> Look three miles. Two, oh. two murders would have been committed. Oh. Yeah, so it's just, last time she was here, of course, the sky filled with flames and there was a big fire and it was, remember we were like sitting well, in Griffith Observatory? Be, yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit spooky. I was like, okay, well, there's ashes in the pool. So I could see where you might think that this is a regular occurrence, but I swear it's not. Just usually. sun, sun, all week. What kind of weather are we looking at? Just sun, literally just sun. What kind of weather? Um, What day is it today? Can I get in, in Fahrenheit? Do you want an American? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, 88, high of 88. Oh. Thursday, high of 87. Mm. Friday, 89, Saturday, 91, ah, 87, damn. 84, 80 and 80. That's that's a, that's a, that's a little too a little hot toasty. for October. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I've, got, I've got sweaters I'd like to wear. I'm excited, but I'm putting the house together for Donna, mm -hmm. getting some shit together so she thinks that we have our shit together. Her bed sheets have been clean for a week. Two weeks. Love it. Bathroom is clean. Love it. I'm ready to go. Ooh, also on the note of being a fucking delight, um, <laughs> words that Donna herself has said about me. Yeah, yours she, truly. She hasn't spent that much time with her yet. <laughs> um, working on a new blanket. Working on a new blanket, hopefully for January, 2023. Um, you want to do pre-orders for Christmas or no? No, no, no. What the fuck, why? You want to do, I don't, maybe. Why not? Maybe, I don't know, we can see. Yeah, pre-orders for Christmas for sure. If it's done. Well, if you don't, okay, if it's not done, then we just hook everybody up who ordered beforehand with something special. No, no, like, I don't know if the blanket will be done and confirmed if I like it enough to sell it type of thing. Oh. Yeah. No, this no, is no. all just fake news. Yeah, this is, you're just, you're just spewing fake news. Okay. Um, I'm working on a new blanket that says I'm a fucking delight. And it really? is adorable. Yes. It's great. Inspired by Donna. Wow. Yeah. Do we cut her in? I think so. Okay. We will have to hide that blanket. When your mother comes. Yeah, the, the F word is not great Imagine your mom her. tucked in on the couch with a blanket that says I'm a fucking delight. That's a, if, <laughs> if that ever happens. Oh my God. Yeah, not a, yeah. I think she would purposefully stay cold. That's a blanket of sin. Yeah. yeah that, that's a blanket of sin. I don't sin. think she'd like that blanket, to be honest. <laughs> she wouldn't, she certainly wouldn't like it in her house. No, 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 <laughs> no. So anyway, working on the I'm a fucking delight blanket. And then um, you guys can let me know. I was thinking we do, a shot glass, shot glasses, and a mug. Oh, blankets. I think we just released this for my birthday party. This is gonna be like party blankets and party shots. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, party blankets. So I'm new a New face, new blanket, new shots. Wow. Don't hold us to a timeline though, because like things things get crazy with uh, with big products like this. Like you're making me nervous. Okay, none of this is um, guaranteed. It'll probably all fall flat. <laughs> but also let us know if you want shot glasses. Or. Um, or wine glasses. Or. or uh, mugs. God, we're stripping glass? Uh, well, we could do we could do the 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 more responsible party wine cups. <laughs> okay, I love a wine. We'll think cup. about it. We'll think about it. A wine goblet. Do you want to brag to everybody that your Tesla came? My Tesla came in about a month and a half, and Jeremy is so salty. All they did was move her delivery date up. Literally, I'm not even kidding. They moved my delivery date up, and then they even texted me the day. So I had my delivery date scheduled um, after they moved it up week. And then they moved it up another week. And then I got a day and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Oh my God. Then a couple of days before then, they even moved the day up. Lauren actually has the best luck of anyone I've ever met ever, period. You know what? I think if I had the best luck of anyone ever, I'd have less stomach problems. Mm. You know what I was thinking about though today is that um, although I do have so many issues with digestion, I got really lucky in the sense that I barely get any period cramps. That's pretty good. Uh, so, girls spend days just absolutely dying, like 
like withering away in pain. And I am so aware of how lucky I am to not have to struggle with that. I've had, I think enough girlfriends on both sides of the spectrum there to mm -hmm. really understand either the luxury mm -hmm. or the mm, uh, every 28 to 30 day burden that the period can be. Or if you really want to fuck with your birth control, like I do, maybe about 40 days, 40 to 50 days. Yeah, you not should not a period. do that as much. <laughs> yeah. But guess what? No babies. Once again. Currently have my period, which means no babies. Congratulations. No That's a good reminder Congrat to not be a dick. Congratulations. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that for us. Yeah, well, I'm excited about your new Tesla. It's cute. It's so cute. It literally just looks like, like a Tesla version of my old car. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cute. And it is very odd because you don't touch the brake at all for the yeah, most part, which it's is very super weird. weird. Um, and I haven't decided if I want to sell my car before or after my parents leave. It's mm. a, it's like a weird adjustment. It really is. Yeah, it might be difficult. Yeah, I no, no, it's, it's, it not, it's not an easy transition. I would keep that for one month. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. I keep. I'm going to the DMV tomorrow and like, I I feel like as a Canadian, I just didn't quite understand how brutal the DMV is. Like how bad it is to the point that like movies make fun of it. Do you have an appointment? Even better. I have not the stripper kind, but I have an escort. <laughs> well, not all, a, not all not escorts a, are strippers, let's be clear. I have a DMV. Yeah, I know mine tomorrow, not a stripper, a DMV escort. So I will be, so what do you have to do there at the DMV? Uh, so California has this new thing called real ID, which is driver's uh, license and well, another every ID state or whatever. has the real ID. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to get that to get my license renewed because my license can only be renewed for as long as my visa extended for. So I just got my new visa. And so I now I have to get a new license, the whole thing. And I think because my business manager manages so many like influencers and YouTubers and creator creators. I'm wondering if they use this service because a lot of YouTubers are just not responsible enough Definitely. to bring all their shit with them that they need in their paperwork to the DMV to do this properly. I mean, it's kind of the thing that you realize one day when you wake up back to the equally as unrelatable, but mm -hmm. also just to be aware of the fact that, you know, sometimes you like get car service for like a shoot or this or that. And it's not because they want you to get there safely. It's oh, because no, 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 no. they want someone there going, yeah, get in the car. We have to go yeah. now. Yeah. We have her. We're on the way. Yes. She's coming versus like, I left. I'm like almost there. <laughs> Hasn't even got her. Hasn't bed. left. No, yeah. no. Of course, it is a luxury to like have a car service for a, a shoot of some kind, but it is logistical on their side to ensure that you are there on time. Same reason why I got one for Donna. Donna, you will be in the car at 11 a.m. Yeah. It will be leaving right. towards ORD and you will get there on time. Right. So I have an escort tomorrow. I think his name is Phil. And he is going to hold my hand through the entire DMV process. And you actually as well pay for like uh, expedited processing, I think. Okay. So I think my um, license expires. But my whole licensing is not a great situation. I think the, the whole license ID thing in general, mm -hmm. we're going to look back in not so, like in a not so distant future and go, wow, that was dumb. Yeah, it's not great. So when you do see me tomorrow looking beat as hell. Just like right now. Beat to the gods. Just like now. Oh, this is my pa practice beat. I literally curled my hair today in preparation for tomorrow's hair. I think that's the flex you want to have, right? What? That, that my uh, ID uh, is, yeah. oh, okay, yes, of course. Because when I got my very first California license, I didn't know that it was going to be picture day. Mm. And I look busted as hell. I look like I ate the Michelin man. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna put Tiffany totally on blast here. She literally looked at your picture on your ID. It like happened to be on the table at her engagement party. And she was like, wow, I've never seen someone's face fill up so much of the photo. <laughs> and like, I know that she just meant it in the sense that like it was really zoomed in, but the way that it came out, I was like, fucking damn Tom. Tiffany has the ability, the innate ah. ability to, to pick the single yeah. most offensive way to say anything at all times. Oh my God. You know, you, you love her, you love her, you hate her for it. No filter. Yeah, uh, uh, we keep inviting <sighs> her around. That we, means we love her. Yeah, so um, good luck on that. Thank you so much. But yeah, when I think of the DMV, like it's just so crazy that it is literally like Hollywood famous in the sense that everyone around the world knows how bad the reputation is about the DMV because you've got movies like Zootopia who have literally cast their sloths as the DMV workers. I missed that one. You missed Zootopia? Yeah. What the fuck? But think about it. With you? Well, plenty of things to watch. I see this as an opportunity. 
Oh my God. Uh, last time I went to the DMV, it was painless. Well, yeah, I'm paying a lot of money tomorrow for my day to pain, also be painless, painless as well too. Not painless. Oh, pay, what Just did you painless. Say? I think I'm like, like, like pain. I didn't pay anything to go to the DMV oh, last time. Oh, painless. Yeah. The whole like, a, a part, oh. like the schedule, an appointment thing is great. Yeah, I actually did have an appointment last time, but I think I still was there for a couple hours. Okay. Anyways, so um, Best of luck. say a prayer for me to not have a weird like wonky eye or something. No, 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 no. That would be so annoying. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren, welcome back to my channel. So today we're at the DMV. Hi everybody. Hi anyway, everybody, like, say would, hi. That's hi, the time Phil. where I'd be like, hey, come here. Let's no, 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 there's, there's no world where that's happening. Um, but I will have a full red carpet, uh, full glam happening tomorrow. Okay. So can't wait for that to be, oh no, no, actually I'm going to Remy's tomorrow night for Bachelor in Paradise Night. Got so, um, but, but like realistically, well, I'll probably take my makeup off of that. So full glam at 11 a.m. tomorrow for my um, DMV pick. Catch me in the city of Arletta. <laughs> You're in Arletta? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Arletta. Not just West Hollywood? No. Got it. So this guy's got a very special- This guy's got a, yeah, I could either okay. go to Santa Monica and he could hold my hand in Santa Monica or hold yeah. my hand in Arletta. Where the fuck is Arletta? Uh, shockingly not that far, kind of near Burbank. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not far. Like genuinely I was like, the last thing I want to do is drive to Santa Monica. Well, okay, yeah, well, best okay. of luck. So Phil and I tomorrow, buddy, buddy up in the DMV. Um, So our gym, <laughs> our gym, our gym opening got postponed two days. Fuck. So first, so first it was supposed to open in summer of 2021. Yeah. 2020, like 2021, like last summer, a year ago. And, and then I called and I, I, I made a fake um, bomb threat. And I said, don't you fucking open for another nine months. <laughs> oh my God. And then so another nine months. You didn't have to go to the gym. Yeah. So now, it, and then we had a date for October 4th. And then I Karen, and then I called a thousand different inspectors. And mm -hmm. I said, the permits are no good. Permits are no good. And we take it three, more, yep. three or four months out. Yep. Let's just push this thing yep. off. Yep. And yeah. so now you have another two days that you've escaped having to get fit. Yeah, well, and then Donna comes, so I'm gonna have about four or five more days. Oh my God, you're so right. Yeah. You know what though? Gail will volunteer as tribute for all of us to go to the gym, a family gym outing. We're going soon, I could feel it. Yeah, oh, Gail, oh, Gail's never seen an Equinox. I feel like she would love it. The best thing about an Equinox- Never? An e never? No, they don't have Equinox in Canada, I don't think. Oh, no, they don't have any, no, yeah. definitely not Canada. Yeah, yeah, so it's like when she would have- The best thing about Equinox are the chilled towels that have- um Eucalyptus. Euc- oh! A chilled eucalyptus towel, bitch. Oh my God. My ex was um, allergic to eucalyptus and that was a, a, an awkward uh, Equinox wow. opening. Oh, yeah. that's so tough. Yeah. I wouldn't even go to Equinox. I wouldn't even pay the membership if you couldn't do the eucalyptus towel. And yeah, back to LA fitness you go. Back to LA fitness I go. Where all you do is come home and say, 19 dudes hit on me and they're all weird. They are all weird. <laughs> yeah. <And then> <laughs> 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 yeah, Devin goes to the same LA fitness as me and I am consistently getting I just violently prime hit prime target. On. I know. I just think LA is like a hodgepodge of just the most like uh, uh, extroverted, bold personalities you can imagine. It's insane. So throw some weights in there and get that testosterone pumping. If I had half the confidence of the weirdos at my gym, oh my God, I could conquer the world. I was doing this, um, do you know what a back extension is? It's like basically you're like, yeah. you're on a slant and you're kind of bent over and you're holding weights. And so basically your ass cheeks are spreading. And as you come back up and like lift mm. the weight back up, your cheeks come together. Anyway, you're literally just like spreading cheeks. And this machine in LA Fitness, I swear to God, is in the fucking middle of the room. By the way, those guys know what they're doing. They know what time it is. They know what time Whoever it is. Whoever designed that gym goes. They know exactly what time it there. is. They could have done everyone a favor and put that thing up against a wall, no. but no, 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 no. So, and there is a bench press right behind it. And mm. I'm not kidding. I was doing this exercise and like, I'm, I'm also injured, which I want to talk about in a second. Um, but I was doing this exercise and there's a mirror in front of me. And I, as I came up, I immediately made eye contact with the creepy man who was sitting behind me, who I'm sure was just staring straight into my butthole the entire time. And so anyways, I had my friend come and sit right behind me and we traded, we did like a little trade off. Every time she was doing it, I'd sit behind her and protect her butthole and likewise. <laughs> Get you a friend. <laughs> Get you a friend that will sit behind you and protect your asshole. <laughs> I, I just, um, I, I think if there's anything that would make me either want to get really great form yeah. or never do it again, uh -huh. it's, it's that. What do you mean? Like I would, I would either go, oh, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look good doing these. I know I look great doing them. You, so you think you look great doing back extensions? Yes, a hundred percent. Okay, my ass has never looked better. 
Okay. And I'm giving a front row show to the person who is benching. I'm thinking about what does your right face look me. like while you're doing ass extensions? Uh, okay. Okay. It's not like a cardio heavy thing. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not it. like, I'm not like screaming or anything. Got it. Yeah. Cause you do have like noodle arm tendencies and like sometimes that makes your face look like you just like ate a, like a lemon. Definitely have noodle arm tendencies. Yeah. yeah. We have this, have we talked about this before? Have I told you about Stromboli at the gym? Uh, me is going to be dying. There's this guy at the gym. Oh yes, you told me a thousand times. Yeah, have we talked about it on the podcast though? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we have either. There's this guy at the gym who goes every day, and I'm not entirely sure where his accent is from, um, but he is. Uh, so how do we get to Stromboli? So I we actually don't know his name. Jerry named him Stromboli okay. after a character, okay. and um, because I guess he looks like a character named Stromboli, and um, he is so sweet. He's so nice. Whenever he sees me, he's like, hello, baby. Good morning, baby. <sighs> and he's like an older guy. So it's like, it's like cute. It's like not creepy. Oh. And, um, oh, is that Stromboli? From Pinocchio. Oh. oh. I feel like they actually mean, can you Google um, a round guy from Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> or maybe it's from Coraline? There's a guy that he looks a little more like, I don't think this is this is right. No. Barrel? I don't know, I'm gonna circle back on this. Okay. Um, but anyways, so he has been at the gym, I guess for years. And when he lifts, cause he lifts a fuck time. He really is like a little bodybuilder kind of man. And whenever he lifts, he, on his exhale, he goes, ah, motherfucker! And he's just screaming, fucking screaming across but the gym. Do you think he does that for attention? I don't think that he really cares who's listening. So no. How old are we talking here? Like probably 65. Oh, that dude walks around with nuts out yes. in the dressing yes. room. Is he sure. bald? Yes. Yeah, I've seen him. Yes, yes. yes Pointy yes. nose. You see those nuts? Kind of, yes, 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 yes. Belt. He's a white. Yes, 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 scares the shit out of yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker! And he's literally just screaming every time he reps something. And like, you know what, to be honest, like he's repping a lot. So like, yeah. It, but it is, it is so. I just think that people should be seen and not heard at the gym. Yeah. But also I would walk around with, even if I didn't listen to music with headphones. Oh, he's raw dogging, no music. Oh, see that's, uh, that's just sociopath. Yeah, raw dogging, one of the, one of the screaming. I, if I don't have something blaring into my eardrums. Oh, me too, yeah. I don't think I could lift a cracker. No, me either. Certainly not for an hour and a half. No, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. Okay, so for any of our physiotherapists or chiropractors out in the audience. Are you, are you crowdsourcing your I'm injury? I'm crowdsourcing my injury and looking for advice or if someone else has also had this injury, I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe suggestions. I'm crowdsourcing my medical advice right now. Mm, okay. Got it. And I think that this is a Just proper hop on way WebMD. to lose your It'll tell you have flow. cancer and we'll move on. And I'm dying, yeah, of course. So I um, went to the chiropractor. And so I, I definitely, definitely have um, a pulled muscle. The chiropractor that looked at it and the physio said that it's not in the tendon, which is good. He also didn't say tennis elbow, but everything's kind of pointing to tennis elbow. Is this a dude that kept touching you in weird places? Yeah, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> and so basically it's a muscle that like is up in my elbow, but it goes all the way down to the tops of my fingers, which makes sense because muscles are attached, but it's like, I've got pain on the top of the arm that goes down to like the fourth finger. Mm. And so it's less pain now. It's like, I can obviously like feel exactly like when I press on the top here, like which muscle it is, but my arm and fingers, I want to say, I don't want to say numb because numb is too intense. Tingly. I got the arm and finger tingles and I don't like it because obviously something is wrong. And so I went to a physio and he like did some stuff and I paid a lot of money to like stretch my wrist and I used some putty and like flexed my fingers open. So I'm not gonna go back because okay. I can do that at home. But yeah, this guy also was really fucking creepy, the PT. And I canceled my appointment because I was like, one, I was like, I don't love the service that I got. And two, my guy was fucking creepy. He literally asked, he's like, oh, what Asian are you? Which was fine because he's Asian. So Asians are allowed to do that. He's like, what, what Asian, Asian are, you? are you? Yeah, I get I feel that like a lot. there's still probably a better way to say that. Totally, totally. But he, I was like, oh, I'm half Japanese. And he was like, oh, it was like, Japan is where all the hotties are from. <gasps> know if that's quite appropriate. You know what, sir? You might be correct, but the way you said it, I didn't Is like. not okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, oh, oh, fun fact, he also goes to our gym. Oh, great. Well, yeah, gym, another, I'm another. To see, like, a many, doctor that says vulgar things no, 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 like no, that? No, 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 not a doctor, not a doctor, a PT. Aren't they, oh, they're not doctors? <laughs> Um, and no, Darn, not a doctor. Don't, this don't, is a, this is a canceled. master's degree. It's a, it's an undergrad and not a master's. In America or just in Canada? In Can 
Hey, look up physical therapist and see if she's an MD. I, I think I, you probably could be an MD in physio, but I don't. Just look up physical therapist. Yeah. Physical therapist uh, education. And then on the arm that he wasn't working on, he went through and individually touched all of my tattoos and asked what they meant. Yeah, doctor of physical therapy. Wow. Yeah. There, I, he had me fucking rolling out putty. Lauren, he knew that you did crafts and he said, I'm, I'm gonna make this guided for you. I wonder if maybe he was doing like, cause he was 29. How, wow, There's you, no got, way you got to his age? What? You got to age? Uh, he was he was really giving me like a, like like a, a quiz. Like, like a, he an asked, in-person hinge profile? He, he asked how old I was and he was got like, oh, it. I'm 29. And I was like, sick. And he's like, Japan's where all the hotties are from. Like, how old are you? Look at my fucking chart doc, back to me. Yeah, yeah there's no way you would have been a doctor. If we were rolling putty out, there's no way you just go, go to school for that many years to roll putty. Right. I think maybe- There's no way. Probably some doctor out there uses putty. I don't know. Anyways. Listen, fuck this guy. Anyway, point is- uh, Fuck this guy. Anyway, I'm doing shockwave therapy next week and I want to know if that's effective. My mom said that she liked it for her last injury, but I want to know if there are other things out there. I'm icing, I'm massaging, I'm resting and I'm not lifting and I'm losing all my gains and getting more noodly by the minute, but I am going to have the fattest ass in the world at the end of this injury because I can't work out anything on my upper body and I'm very sad about it. Every day it. is butt day. <laughs> Every day is butt day. I know I literally, it's like, I can only really do legs like two, times a week. Yeah, no, it, it crashes. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really breaking down the leg muscles here because I'm going crazy. You're about to be like a reverse dude. With yeah. just his chest all day with right. like twig legs. Yeah, exactly. You're just gonna have like- I'm just the other way around. I love it. Yeah, so anyways. But I, listen, the, I don't know when you said this was gonna be the year of the thickest dumpeth, but this is either year this of the thickest This is the year dumpeth. of the thickest dumpeth. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else relates to that, but- um, No, we said that at the beginning of the year. What are our new year's resolutions? The well, year of the thicky dumpy. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm Mary. thinking to myself, how did I go on mine? I think we're still <laughs> delayed. Hmm. Yeah. I have a weird body thing of a TikTok that I want to show you that I need to know because I thought, okay, anyway, just play the TikTok. I really hope this reaches the right audience on TikTok. Can you do the rumbling noise in your ears or not? I Does that make any sense to you? No. This doesn't make any sense to you. No. So you can't make it sound like it's like a rolling rumble in your ears. No. Shut the fuck up, really? No. Wait, like a, almost like a hum? Like a, okay, and so this is separate of my tinnitus. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> what ear issue are you running into? No, it's like I can like flex something in my throat that makes a rumbling sound in my ears. That is so crazy. Do it. What do you mean? Do it right now. You can't hear it, it's in my ears. I know, but I wanna- Oh, oh but do it, do it. Are you going? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, you can't hear it. I, I'm like, <laughs> are you just shaking your tongue inside your no, mouth? No, 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 there's no shaking. It's like, it's like you like, it's something like in the middle of your head near the back of your throat that like you, it flexes and it makes it like the sound that <laughs> Jimmy's like making weird mouth shape. Like here, I'm gonna try and like think of what it, it's like. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was imagining. I know. No, but it's like it's like a lower rumble. And I like. Okay, just go through the comments. There's six thousand comments. Everyone's over. They like they have like halfway comments. I don't like what your leg thing they could be. Like, so just, wait, yeah, not everyone can do this. Sometimes it sounds like. Wait, was, what, what are the ADHD comment? Yeah, and sometimes it sounds like brown eyes. So I do to keep my ADHD thoughts. From oh my ramping. god, that's such a good idea. And yeah, would might be nice. I do when I'm trying to block out other sounds. Yep, I start with a yawn and sometimes I keep doing it because it feels nice. Yeah, after a yawn, it's like, it's like already kind of happening. Immediately starts ears thunder. Yes, I told partner to just squeeze their brain and they thought I was completely insane. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's like squeezing your brain. <laughs> You're just squeezing your eyes, babe. You're just squeezing your eyes. I mean like, no. It sounds exactly like rolling thunder. That was a good way to do it, uh, to explain it. It sounds okay, like rolling I, uh, thunder I in think, the background. Okay, I think I'm half, I'm getting there halfway. I think I understand the idea. It sounds like rolling thunder. <sighs> like really low? That's like mid low. Um, that's a yawn, not a thunder. Um, yeah. I don't know if everyone's just the same pitch. No, 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 I can do it. I know what you're talking about. Are you just saying that so we'll move on? No, I can do it. Oh. I'm doing it right now. Wow, you just learned it. I've never thought about it to the point of, uh, have any discussion about it. But yeah, <laughs> I, I too am a nerd. I literally, TikTok is, okay. But I, I would never do that to like out of habit for something. Hmm. I don't know. 
I, so I, I guess that I have at some point because when she said that I knew exactly what she was talking about. Oh, I would be like lost. Yeah. What? I mean, we just we just witnessed that happen live. We we witnessed nothing but genius as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, a stroke of genius happening in your I, ear rumblies. I just don't feel like um, I think this should become like a, a book of things mm -hmm. that you're like you're supposed to discover by the time you're 18. But if you don't, you just like hit them all before you go out of the real world. You just fucking open TikTok. Yeah. When I, TikTok is by far, like, I know, I know that everyone knows TikTok is my favorite app, but like the shit that I learned on that app is incredible. The, the amount of misinformation that I learned on that app is also incredible. Every, that every, too. Every once in a while, I get some decent knowledge from TikTok. Oh my God. Yeah. A hundred percent. I do think the whole idea that like people who are ridiculously talented that make yeah. content that mm -hmm. gets a little bit more attention from somebody else who on the back end, it's denotes like this person's typically good at finding this mm -hmm. makes total sense. Mm hmm Total sense. I, the amount of like talented people that I'm in awe of on TikTok, like the people that I follow on TikTok are the most random people that are all just and weirdly talented. They're all so talented. Yeah, it's just super niche. Like I have a TikTok going viral right now because I made, I, I gutted a squishmallow and made it into a halter top. Okay. And that has found its niche audience. 500,000 people. And I just uploaded this earlier, like a couple hours ago, are appreciating my squishmallow top. I will we'll find that on Reddit in about two days. I'm sure, yeah. 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 The power it's, of- it's It's got big weeb energy. Like ah, it's got, yeah, 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 for sure. Yikes. <laughs> for sure. But like, there's just, there's just a, there's an audience for everything. There, you know what? When I look at electrician talk, when I look yeah. at, when I look at structural engineer talk, uh -huh. when I look at war talk, yeah. when I look at picking locks talk. Yeah. Like I haven't seen a hot Jeremy, girl dancing in months. <laughs> Jeremy bought a lock picker. Yeah. And then realized that we don't have a lock for him to pick. No locks. <laughs> No locks. <laughs> That's the most me thing you've ever done. But I, I will find locks and I- You know what else you, uh, you also impulse bought off of TikTok? Yeah. Is like the stupidest fucking, it's supposed to uh, levitate. Yeah. It really does not levitate, not I'm even gonna, close. It levitated right to the, the trash can. Right into the trash can. Wait, what is it? What does it do? It's I know just this like not, little levitating about it ball <laughs> that has like this weird little like fan propeller thingy in it. It just scared moose. It just scared moose. Mm -hmm. It just scared me. Like some dogs would be thrilled to chase after that. Not moose. Not moose. It not was moose. it was very like erratic too. Like it was it was one not levitating. Yeah, that was uh, I think white label Alibaba at its finest. Mm, and you fell for it. I'd I, fall for it again. I have a reason why it. you need the lock kit. You get stuck in a bathroom at an Airbnb. Yeah, see that would suck. Did that happen to you? Yes. <gasps> but I I have to have the lock kit on me in the bathroom. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I keep imagining just a simple hairpin sort of like. So I'm not gonna I mean, I feel like you see that in movies all the time is the bobby pin, but like how, how is Well, one of them like fits into a wallet, but I'm like, what am I gonna do next time I got on a flight? And the mm. guy's like, sir, will you come this way for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is this? I'm like, ah, that's the thing that I got on TikTok to pick locks. So it was like, so like when the captain locks their door, like, yeah, so yes, I can just go through it. I can just go in. And now everyone yes. can go to the cockpit. Yes. Yeah. That's that. perfect. Whatever. That's perfect. <laughs> Um, also, on a more serious note, I want to address the fact that we will not be addressing the Try Guys drama. Um, I feel like if, I know. I feel like uh, as it happened, every I got so many DMs being like, "I know you have the tea. You better spill it on the podcast," which is absolutely not going to happen. Um, Zach is one of my closest friends, and Keith and Eugene are also good friends. And out of respect for them, and also um, you know all of Second Try Entertainment LLC. Um, at our start for them, we will not be addressing or doing any kind of deep dive into what happened. I think overall, um, we are heartbroken for the guys and I'm excited to see what their next chapter of content is going to look like. And I just wanna say that shout out their fucking video editors. Oh my God. I'm really good at Photoshopping people and things out of photos, but I have never seen such incredible work of their video editors Photoshopping a whole person out. Cause they're ahead. It is insane. They shoot ahead, big time. Insane, yeah. right? And so they were able to edit, edit people out. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. So, anyways, um, we. So there's the tea. <laughs> so there's the tea, and that's all I got for you. No, but we wanted to address the fact that we will not be addressing it, and there will be no further conversation on it, um, because we. Moving forward, we'll consider this conversation closed. Wow! Next. Wow! That sounds like a really scary end to an email. Uh, yeah. Uh, I might have borrowed from that. It's not ours to speak to. It's not ours to speak to. Um, Kim Kardashian's getting sued. <laughs>
Kim Kardashian's getting sued for 1.2, 3 oh. million dollars? 1.3 million dollars? Oh, an Instagram post. A, a drop in the bucket for yeah, her. Yeah, she'll be fine. A drop in the bucket. Just a quick reminder to everybody. We, you know, you do have to disclose mm -hmm. when you're making money off of the backs of everybody else. Let's go back to the MLM thing. Mm -hmm. That. Yeah. yeah. It was so crazy when we didn't have to disclose it. Like most, most sponsored stuff. Yeah, this is just dumb. Most like most sponsored posts, like kind of at the beginning of like when brands started working with YouTubers, that was like, oh, this is sponsored by, the, but it's like- The FTC yeah. just didn't have enough reason to care right. about whether or not influencers are putting and then, a disclosure on their tweeter. Scrambling. Yeah. Scrambling. Once, said, fuck. Yeah, exactly. And working backwards. Um, what I was gonna say though, is that I feel like the top headline of the week um, was Dream. Yeah, doing a guy- a, Doing a face reveal. Arguably, I had not heard of before. Yeah, I, I had heard his name before. So Dream is a Twitch streamer. Is he a Twitch streamer? Is that his platform? Yeah. Streamer who does Minecraft stuff and has- I think has, like the top, like one of the top. Yeah, no, no, he's huge. He's like absolutely huge. 30 million subscribers. 30 million subscribers. And I think this is like not even his main thing. Maybe is Twitch his main thing? Yeah. I don't really know. I feel like there'll be Twitch ex or um, dream experts in the comments. It really is insane let us know. how many people love to join people live and just watch them do whatever it is that they're doing while they're doing something that they're doing. Yes. You know? Yes. Like it's one thing to like, okay, you, you like I listen to podcasts uh -huh. daily or weekly or whatever, but I find the time for that. It's not like, oh, it's live now. So whatever yeah. I was doing, that's just going to be a part of it. 6.2 million followers on Twitch. But I think wow. that's a lot, right? Like yeah. I feel like Twitch is, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a lot for Twitch. Um, so anyway, so he is a streamer, a gamer, whatever. And he has built this massive brand without using his face. He literally has built his brand and his identity because he's been wearing this little white smiley mask. And it's crazy because there's only a few people who have been able to accomplish that. So it's like, you've got Corpse Husband, who is another gamer and he's known for his voice, but no one knows what he looks like. Still? Um, I feel, yeah, still. No. Uh, Sia, I feel like did that for a hot minute, but then that got debunked or she uncovered or unmasked or unhaired. Well, she, she was like a massive songwriter for years before. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. you could only hide that for so long. Right. Her, her like, first album covers, you could see her face actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Um, and then Daft Punk, I feel like was one of the earliest ones, I feel like of people that I knew personally. Um, Marshmallow. You know Daft Punk? No, 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 not personally. Like, what? Like he, that was one of the people that I like first came yeah, to know of. Daft Punk's still not, like nobody knows still. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. And like Marshmallow, I feel like everyone knows what Marshmallow looks like, but he yeah. was trying to do that. Um, who else? There was- Kiss. Kiss, The right? Gorillas. The Gorilla. Oh yeah, the Gorillas. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Good yeah. one. Yep. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's it's not that common where someone can build an entire brand not using their face. Cause like, will I hoe out my face and clothed body for my brand? Yes, absolutely. Did Gene Simmons took the makeup off when he was like hooking up with the girls after show? Definitely not. Just kept it on? Oh, a hundred percent. I'm sure they wanted it on. That might be the weirdest thing ever. Can you imagine like hooking up with a dude in full like white stage makeup as it's sweating off onto you? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, scary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> white, yeah, white stage makeup. It's like clown uh, makeup, like dripping slip onto you. Slipknot and corn, uh, right? Yeah. No, I think like, no. I think they both eventually take it off. I don't know. Yeah. Not sure, but yeah, they like have their stage thing. Yeah, who's that? Um, 2019 Coachella. Hey, calm down, Lauren. <laughs> 2019 Coachella DJ Gacephala Stein. Um, huh. He was one of the like last DJs to play on the second main stage oh. of the night. So pretty big oh. guy. Has some songs of the weekend, but all chrome. Oh, like chrome. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, but is that him? So did he unmask or what happened? Or did I think, he just get exposed? I think he's a producer, so he got it. Yeah, probably exposed. Oh, I see. I see. Whoa, that's fucking cool though. All chrome. Well, There's yeah, something like mysterious about not being able to like tie all of the knots together or like really- Oh, 100%. Well, people also get to envision and build yeah. like the the expectation of the what fantasy. they want it to be. Right. Like Corpse Husband, right? He's got that super like uh, um, recognizable voice. Right. And so I think girls who are attracted to that voice get to like imagine whatever they want Corpse Husband to look like. It's like built in Wattpad. Built in Wattpad. Yeah. There's actually a lot of TikTokers that do this too. There's a few dancers who have gotten really big where they have like some kind of mask on. Um, because like, I get it. There's definitely pros and cons to, you know, having a recognizable image. And like, this is a good time to admit that we both actually have on fake faces right now and we won't be um, revealing our real 
space. Mine is a lot more chiseled than this one. <laughs> I was looking for more of like a relatable Midwest look. Mm, um, but yeah, mm-hmm, you could you mm-hmm. see how, yeah. yeah, I just didn't want to give the unfair advantage to make right. it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I totally. understand. I understand. Yeah. So Furries. Anyway, uh, oh. <sighs> I would do a full episode in furry gear. I need you to take that back right the fuck now. No, I think we need need to write that into a contract. No, 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 absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely the fuck not. We are not, we are not. I'm not here to kink shame, but that we're not entering that community. I think it'd be fun. You'd be sweating so bad. You'd you know, be sweating so bad. You guys should do, have you seen Sexy Beasts on Netflix? Oh yeah. my God, we the did watch show? that, yeah. Y'all should do that. I need I need both of you guys to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Usually I'm the one on board for the weird shit and like the, the fun little concepts. Yeah. This one is a no, it's a hard no, hard pass. Whatever. Um, Can you imagine dating the guy who was wildly famous, but no one knew what his face looked like? That'd be like ideal, right? Well, I think that's what I'm saying. Like there's a lot of perks to that. Yeah. Cause like this guy is so insanely successful, which in turn probably means he's fucking loaded and no one knows what his face looks like. Like his life is about to change in the most insane ways. And so like he's been building up to this whole like face reveal and he's been putting it off for I think years at this point. Um, And so he literally like started a campaign um, like a marketing campaign beforehand where he would FaceTime friends and do a face reveal to friends and then they would post their reaction, which is like such a funny concept to like do a pre-reveal to your can, friends to then post. But like, can you imagine if like you did the face reveal and everyone was like, boo. Oh my God, if someone had a bad reaction, but also I was yeah. like, I wonder how many of these people have actually already seen his face, like of his friends. No, but I mean like the fans like, oh, Okay, bummer. and so this is what we're getting to is that like after all this anticipation, 1.2 million people were watching live of his live stream when he did his face reveal. I happened to be one of them while I was taking a poop. I just literally, <sighs> JC Kalen tweeted something about it. And I was like, oh shit, is this happening right now? So then I, I actually had a really hard time finding his channel at first. Got it. Found it, watched the face reveal. And I didn't really know anything about him. So I was like, oh, okay. A word from our <laughs> sponsor, Charmin. <laughs> I, um, okay, well. And so people good, bad, and different. Okay, so we have an article. He's, I mean, and like you can't show your face to millions and millions of people and not get trolled. Uh, so people, obviously, the internet has things to say because the internet always has things to say. Oh yeah, that's what they're good at. Um, because he's just like a twenty-three-year-old little white dude. I'm gonna be honest, when he first revealed, though, I was like, "Wow, he's got great teeth." That's the first thing I noticed. I probably wouldn't have hid my face if I looked as um, normal and nice as he does. Wait, yeah, right. You would have started your brand with your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would be nice if you had like three eyes. Like, okay, now I get it, yep. Right, but like how fucking nerve wracking would that be for everyone to literally, they're literally there to judge your appearance. Well, they've always Millions been there. Millions of people. They've just been in waiting. But they've been made, waiting, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he built his entire brand and then he had millions of people. Can you imagine like it shows the face and just like half the audience just like logs just off. Just logs off or immediately all the thumbs down starts like going crazy. Boo. Okay, so the number one, oh God. the number one look like that he's getting is Shane Dawson, but like young Shane that. Dawson, yeah. which I kind of see. Also, the weird part about this reveal was that like he had his face tilted. Dev and I were just talking about this towards the camera. He wouldn't go straight on, and I don't know if maybe he has like a weird insecurity, but like he would only kind of give like the forty-five degree angle thing, but like still make eye contact with the camera. Because like doing this. Yeah, he was doing that the whole time. And I was like, first I thought it was fake. I was like, oh my God, did he just troll everyone? And this is all like fucking CGI. It's like this picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be funny if if that's actually not his face. People were comparing him to Lord Farquhar from Shrek. Um, He's the fourth try guy, (laughs) surprise. Good to know. He is the fourth try guy. Did you see this one? No, what does that one say? Corpse husband watching dream getting devoured on that timeline. Oh my God. Yeah, literally. Corpse husband's probably like, God damn. It's like, this is just a uh, um, confirmation that I should never do a face reveal. Yep. I uh, I think there's, val- there's value in both. I think eventually I almost have to like take the veil off. Okay, so on October 2nd, I don't know the exact parameters of this search, but some of like the top searches um, typically on a daily basis are Elon Musk, Tom Brady, Weather, and Joe Biden. Um, Good to know. Which makes sense actually, Weather and Tom Brady being like, so Weather is is 67, is ranked as 67. People Tom are Brady's, searching Weather? I search Weather every day. What Can't you just go to the Weather app? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like I go out of my way to like, look at the weather. You don't know I mean? need to go in search of whatever okay. the weather is. So weather 67, Tom Brady 12, Joe Biden three, Elon Musk one. On October 2nd, Dream was at a 97 rank. Absolutely crushing every other search on the internet. Wait, 97th? 
97. So the ranking was, or- One um, to 100? I think it was one to 100. Got yeah, it. 97 was, yeah. I guess rank is not the word. It's the- nine, Percentile? I, I, I don't really know. Super fucking high. Everyone was looking for Dream because they were like, who's this kid who's doing a face reveal? I mean, I think ever, like, if the idea of a face reveal yeah. is stupid to you, you're interested. If you're interested in the face reveal, you're interested. If you're somewhere I, in between, I was, are you you're kidding interested. Me? I was so invested, like seeing all I these people. I found out about this guy because his face was not revealed. Now it's revealed and I know who Dream is. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I've never watched a piece of his content. Yeah. Just so interesting. So we have a surprise. I'm literally nervous well, to talk about it. And not to mention, if you're hearing this, it's because things are going well. In the right direction. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes we have yes. a surprise. And I don't know how else to even tease at this, mm -hmm. to not give it away. Yeah. Because we don't keep things very often. No. But this is- Life-changing. Whatever it is that you think it is, yeah. it's not. It's bigger, it's better. And whatever it is that you would think that might be bigger and better, uh -huh. um, we'll, just say, we'll put it this way. It has a countdown to how many days I until- I literally bought a tear off calendar so I can flip the days this is a on pretty, the countdown. This is about as monumental for our relationship yeah. as you can imagine. And, and we're not getting engaged. Not getting engaged. And as Lauren pointed out earlier, she um is not pregnant. Oh yeah. <laughs> so just take those right, two out. I totally forgot that we already gave away that fact that I'm not pregnant. Yeah, not pregnant and not getting engaged. But if things go on the right direction and good path between now and the next time we record this podcast. Then we'll have a whole podcast dedicated towards it. And if you're hearing this now, that means things are moving in the right direction. And if you're not hearing this right now, um, hey, hi editor, <laughs> uh, things are not going well. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm so excited. I'm excited for about a thousand reasons. And I'm also excited to share the news with everybody. Me too. Because it's about as big of the news, it's about as big of news as we've ever had. I think so too. I'm excited. I'm excited. You nervous? Yeah. Scared? No. You happy? Yeah. Me too. Lafia, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>